Hi friends, my name is Kayla Rain, and today I'm going to be doing my Y'all Haul. So Y'all Fest is a young adult literature festival that is held every year in Charleston, South Carolina, and tons of authors come out to do panels and sign books, and there are tons of book lovers there, and it's just such an incredible experience. This was my third year going, and this year I purchased one book. I brought a lot of books that I'm still going to show you because I got them signed and I just kind of want to talk about my author experiences with them and I acquired six arcs over the course of the festival and I also want to share those as well so welcome to my y'all haul. So the first book that I got signed was The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. This has been my favorite book of the year so far. I've read it twice already and I love it oh so much and Becky Albertalli is just one of the sweetest human beings ever. This is my third time meeting her and it was such an incredible experience. I adore her as a human being and I was so excited to get my copy of The Upside of Unrequited Signed and I really hope I get an opportunity to see her for Leah on the Offbeat because I'm definitely going to read that and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. Next, I had the great pleasure of meeting Angie Thomas, and I got my copy of The Hate You Give Signed. Angie is such an incredible person. Like, I already figured that just based on her Twitter and, you know, her book. But she is so sweet in person, and just seeing all the readers getting to meet her was just incredible. And just her overall presence just brought so much happiness to myself and to her readers and just really lifted the whole mood for the weekend. I was so glad I got to see her on Friday because that combination of seeing Becky and Angie just, it, it set the mood for the most perfect y'all fest ever. I also had the pleasure of meeting E. Lockhart. Um, I did the first in line biscuit brunch and I was able to hit up a few authors but the first author that I got to see was E. Lockhart and I got my copy of The Disreputable History Frankie Lando Bank Signed and I am so excited with the um, personalization because it says persist which is so perfect that's like my theme for 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020. Also at the Biscuit Brunch I got to meet Nick Stone and she is so incredible. I haven't read Dear Martin yet but I did purchase this at Blue Bicycle Books. I always like to purchase at least one book from them just to kind of support them for helping put on this festival um, and just kind of like give them a little monetary support if I can. So I picked this up and it was actually already personalized which was unfortunate but Nick Stone was so so kind and went ahead and signed it again on a different page so I, it could be personalized. Um, which was so so sweet of her and she is so beautiful and just so kind um, and gave me the best recommendation for green lipstick so it was a good experience. And then I had the chance to meet Jenna Evans Welch, another book that I haven't read yet but I am fairly certain I'm going to be obsessed with this because I love Anna and the French Kiss and this just has a lot of Anna vibes. Um, so I think I'm going to love this and she was just so incredible and so sweet and she was kind enough to go ahead and sign a book plate for Lo Love and Luck which I've already pre-ordered for 2018 um, which was so kind of her and I am so excited to dive into this. I'm kind of saving this for a rainy day because I'm fairly certain I'm going to love it and I just feel like this is going to be the perfect book slump book to just kind of like pull me up, get me back into reading. So I'm saving this for that time. Next I got to meet S.J. Jones who is literally a freaking model like oh my gosh her makeup is so so beautiful and she's just so incredibly sweet. So I got Winter Song signed, another book I haven't read yet but I am planning to pick this up in December because I think this is going to be like a perfect wintry read. I have been saving this for colder weather because I mean well it's called Winter Song so wintry. Um, and it's giving me the labyrinth vibes and I love this. And then last for the books that I got signed, I had a chance to meet Renee Audier and she was honestly one of the sweetest authors I think I've ever met in my life. She is so kind and so beautiful and just really takes her time with the readers which was so nice. Um, sometimes lines can be really rushed and it just feels like you can't say a lot of what you want to say but she was just so incredible um, and her line actually moved really quickly so like maybe she's a witch too and she just I don't know warps time 
it's possible. But I got my copies of The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger signed and I'm so excited because I love these book covers and I'm so excited to have them signed and personalized now. And I'm super pumped about the movie coming out as well. Alright, now on to the arcs. So I just want to put a disclaimer out there that except for one, I waited in line for these arcs. I have full intentions to read them and I think that's really important um, when it comes to events like Y'all Fest. There are tons of opportunities to get arcs and there's a lot of excitement about getting a book before it's published and just being able to read it before anyone else does and, you know, being able to have some critiques and maybe give some feedback. But I think it's really important to note that if you have an opportunity to purposefully take an arc, make sure it's something you're going to read. Obviously, sometimes arcs can come unsolicited and stuff like that happens. It's totally fine, not a big deal. But um, if you're going to stand in line, I think it's like super, super important to know that you should have intent to read that book because you could be taking that opportunity away from a reviewer who could genuinely give feedback and really enjoy that arc. That being said, I'm gonna jump in. So I got one of my most anticipated reads for 2018 and I am so excited. I already have this pre-ordered. I knew I was gonna read it anyway but there was an opportunity for an arc and I was like I want that and that is Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. I have read Ashley's two previous books and I adored them and I know that this book is about sexual assault and rape and just the way that she handled the other subjects so well and so respectfully, I feel like this is going to be a book that, while it's going to be a difficult subject, it's going to be handled in a respectful way that isn't going to be very upsetting for me personally. At least I hope not. Um, but I'm obsessed with this cover. I already have it pre-ordered and I'm so excited to have this arc. And I think I'm, this might be the first book I read in 2018. Mm. This, this might be it. I also picked up Shadow Song by S.J. Jones. This is the sequel and I think conclusion to Winter Song. Um, and I have full intentions to read this in December. I'm going to read Winter Song and then Shadow Song back to back. And I guess I should correct my friend pick this up because the line for that was really intense and just really awful. Um, there were a lot of people that just kind of like swooped in and it was like it was a bloodbath it was kind of terrifying and thankfully my friend was already kind of up towards the front and she knew that I wanted this so she grabbed this for me and I am so thankful 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 for that I also picked up Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman I have read Rachel Hartman's Serafina duology I'm obsessed with dragons and I really like the way that she writes dragons it's an interesting lore and this is a chunky arc. Like this is almost 500 pages. It, no, it's, is it over 500 pages? It is over 500 pages, which is really intense for an arc, but I am so excited. I have fallen off the fantasy bandwagon this past year. I just haven't read that much fantasy. So I think that this is going to really get me back in the groove of like that really well put together intense fantasy in another world with like all these magical creatures and it's going to be so good. I picked up Miles From You by A.B. Rutledge. This was actually also in the line when I was picking up Girl Made of Stars. So I got Girl Made of Stars and then I had an option to pick up another arc. I think that this is going to be interesting and I've heard that there is a visit to the Penis Museum in Iceland which could be fun. On to my only unsolicited arc, I have a copy of The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Um, I played a trivia game with Maggie Thrash, dreams come true, and um, I ended up winning this. We didn't win, but like everyone got like kind of a participation prize, and this was my participation prize. It was an arc, and it seems like it's basically... Um, What's that Halloween movie? Hocus Pocus. It seems like Hocus Pocus in a YA novel, so I'm I'm intrigued. And finally, I have Damselfly by Chandra Prasad, and this is a dystopian novel. I'm not going to lie, I don't love the cover, but I am quite interested in the prospect of getting into dystopian again. I've kind of fallen off the wagon with dystopian as well, and this one just seemed really interesting. And it's not, it's not a super thick book. It comes out in March, so definitely going to have to hit a lot of these up soon because I think most of those came out in March or February. 
I'm going to be reading a lot of ARCs in January, apparently. That is it for today's video. I had the best time at Y'all Fest. I met so many incredible people, both authors, booktubers, and just general book nerds, and I love this festival. I recommend if you ever have the opportunity to go, definitely do it. It's so amazing and incredible, and I know that it's not accessible for everyone, but if that opportunity ever arises and you have a chance, like, do it. It's it's so amazing. I will leave links in the down bar below for y'all to check out my other social media sites such as Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay weird.